alaikum grade 4 today we are going to do our remaining chapter of uh, climate okay we did the difference between climate and weather now i am going to tell you about different factors somehow we have discussed these factors factors affecting the climate of a place okay these are all climates these are all the factors of the climate and the climate every climate of any place is dependent on these factors if if the climate would change then definitely there would be some changes in these different factors so what are these factors temperature wind precipitation humidity and air pressure so let's start moving with the temperature temperature refers to a degree of hotness or coldness of the air so what is temperature temperature means how much something is hot or how much something is cold temperature is not only related to find out only the hotness of a thing it we can also find the temperature of by using like how much something is cold temperature is very important factor in determining the weather because it influences or controls other elements underline the word influences i n f l u e n c e s influences means capacity to affect other okay uh, or control other elements of the weather such as precipitation humidity clouds and air pressure if you uh, they are saying that temperature is very important factor if you find the uh, if you find out the weather of any place then you must know about the temperature of that place later on temperature also affects the precipitation humidity clouds and air pressure we will discuss these terms in our next page now you can see on page number 8 here we have the second factor second factor is wind we did a lot of discussion in our science like what is wind how wind blows we also did different types of wind you can you can get to know from this uh, um, diagram as well we did project on it so hopefully you will get it very easily okay wind wind is caused by the movement of air from areas of high pressure to areas of low pressure okay wind always blows from that place where the air pressure is too much high to that area where the pressure is low okay and what is wind moving air is called wind underline this thing what is wind moving air is called wind movement of air is called wind it is produced by the irregular heating irregular means the thing which is not have any regulation the thing is which is not in a proper manner it is produced by the irregular heating of the earth's surface by the sun since the earth's surface is made of various landforms landforms means natural features of earth natural features means like mountains uh, lakes and different lands and water bodies it absorbs the sun's heat unevenly okay high pressure means when the thing is warmer when the air pressure is warmer when the heat is warmer so as you know all these natural resources like these natural features of earth these land forms became hot how they can get heat they can get heat by the sun which is the main source of the energy so after heating all these things are warm up and then it absorbs the sun heat unevenly so that's why the moving air will be here wind will be here because due to the sun rays it create high pressure some parts of the earth receives direct rays from the sun all the year and are always warm other places don't receive direct rays so the climate is colder okay so those areas in which the sun is shining very brightly and they receives direct sun rays from the sun so these areas are very warm they have very high pressure but some there are some places which don't receive direct rays so that's why these areas are colder their climate is colder warm air which weighs lesser than cold air rises up this thing is very important we also did this thing in 
साइंस दिस फैक्ट वी हैव लर्न विच एयर राइजिज आप यू कैन सी फ्राम दिस डायग्राम वॉम एयर हैज़ लो प्रेशर सो द थिंग विच इज़ लाइटर इन वे द थिंग विच हैज़ लेस टेंस इट ऑलवेज गोज टू अपवर्ड सो वॉम एयर विच वे इज लेस वॉम एयर हैज़ लेस इन वेट्स दैन कोल्ड एयर सो डैट्स वाई विच एयर गोज अपवर्ड ऑलवेज कीप डेट इन माइंड वॉम एयर इज लेस लेसर इन वेट सो डैट्स वाई इट राइजिज अप then cool air moves in and replaces the rising warm air this movement of air is what makes the wind blow so again revise this diagram you can see here is the warm air warm air is warm air has low pressure so that's why it is lesser in weight so it will move to towards the upward direction and as a result there is you can see the cold uh, cold air which has high pressure so this uh, high pressure so this cold air will come to downwards go towards the earth surface and again it will move towards this place and when it will warm it will again moves towards the upper position so what does this mean this warm air replaces with the cold air of high pressure and this cold air replaces with the warm air so in this way this cycle is Uh, continuing and the wind is blowing so next we have the next factor is precipitation so what is precipitation in precipitation we did three more uh, three more parts like in temperature there is no more part we did only temperature then we did wind moving air is called wind uh, there is no more heading in the wind portion now we are going to do precipitation in precipitation this precipitation is again further divided into four parts we will do these four things rain sleet hail and snow so uh, precipitation what is precipitation it is the water present in the atmosphere that falls back to the earth such as rain snow sleet and hail okay precipitation means the amount of water that is present in our atmosphere and it will come back to earth surface it will again hit uh, hit the earth surface in in which ways how in the form of rain rain means the rain drops like barish sleet you can see sleet means the type of uh, snow which is not as hard as hail these are partially melted and the hail hails these are just like the um, soft ball of ice okay and then snow snow means the soft soft ice the water evaporates from the earth from the surface of the earth goes into the atmosphere and then cools okay the water that is present in the earth surface it goes up in the sky in the form of water vapors and here all these water is collected when water vapors cool they condense condense means their particles are combined together underline the word condense c o n d e n s e condense means when what uh, condense means the particles when combined together uh, when water vapors cool they condense from a gas back to a liquid or solid form so water evaporates in uh, the water evaporates into the cloud in the form of gas so when these particles of gas combine together condense together they will again form they will again change into which state into liquid or solid if they are liquid then it will be in the form of rain and if we are going to talk about the solid then this will be in the form of hail and snow it also collects tiny pieces of dirt and dust from the atmosphere precipitation can be either liquid rain or hail hail sleet or snow so when these type of when these state of water comes back to the earth then it will again collect some different and tiny pieces of dirt and dust because these things are obviously present in our atmosphere so uh, we have discussed about precipitation now the first part of precipitation is rain <coughs> this thing is very similar you people are very well known about what is rain and how it is formed 
it falls when water droplets become too heavy to remain in cloud as i told you uh, water in the form of gas it evaporates into the cloud and when they are collected in the cloud the it now it's too heavy for the cloud uh, to keep them so clouds make them fall in the form of rain and fall towards the earth's surface rain can form ice crystals that come together to form large snow flakes then these rain change into snow flakes you can see these are the snow flakes these snow flakes are mostly present in those climatic in those climate area in which the climate is very colder as the falling snow comes into contact with warmer air the flakes melt and collapse into rain drops okay so when these snow falls back to the uh, earth surface these snow uh, they now they are coming back to the warmer air so when these snow flakes come in contact with the warmer air these will melt and they form rain drops so uh, on the earth surface you will get rain drops now we have this did you know ice pellets are rain drops that have frozen before they hit the cloud okay ice pellets means they ice pellets you can also find this from this page pellets means a small hard ball so what are ice pellets ice pellets are the are actually the rain drops but these ice pellets are the frozen form of rain drops these rain drops change into ice pellets and they just make a very hard ball before hit the ground okay so now i wrote few question answers for you you have to find the answers of these questions from your book okay so what is wind what is wind you can find its answer the answer lies over there you can find its answer from this first paragraph then we have how does wind blow okay again from this paragraph you can find the answer of this question how does wind flow, blow you have to find the procedure of how does wind blow then we have in how many ways water comes back to earth surface okay you can find its answer from this picture in how many ways water comes back to earth's surface next we have how snowflakes how snowflakes are formed okay in you can find its answer from this precipitation paragraph how snowflakes are formed you have to find the answer that what is the procedure of snowflakes to be formed and then we have what are ice then we have what are ice pellets you can find its answer from this did you no portion okay so in this way you can easily find out all these answers of these five questions so in our next video we will do about sleet hail snow and the remaining factors thank you